Jesus was not the, you know, feathered hair blowing in the wind, carrying his sheep. Like, he was aggressive. And to me, it's aggression is all about intent and focus. It's not like this idea of, like, being angry. It's being intensely focused. Now, when some people are intensely focused, it comes across as being angry because there's passion. And so for me, an aggressive life, an aggressive life of faith is living a life on purpose with a purpose and knowing exactly who you are and that you're made in God's image and looking at each area of your life and your faith. Like I look at finding people that are far from God as aggressively as I look at, you know, the squats that I did this morning in the gym. I was one of those quote unquote Christians before. And here's my problem is if you truly believed in the words of the Bible, if you truly believed in Jesus, if you truly believed in heaven, if you truly believed the things we profess to believe, then how could you keep your mouth shut? It, it is. It's the biggest disconnect that I see in this world is that people that claim to be Christians, if you believe, if you're telling me that you believe in heaven, and you believe in hell, but you're not willing to talk to your best friend about it, then I would say you actually don't believe in those things. Because if you truly believed in what happens when you have a relationship with God, then you would tell every single person around you about it. And so do you actually believe it? How could you not tell at least your friends and family, but everyone around you, if you actually believed what you say you believe in? Um, you have to be a lighthouse, you have to shine, you have to, you know, give the masses being like, give this message out to the public of the things that you should be doing and leading by example by, by doing those things. But then you also have to be a tugboat. You also have to go after people one at a time. And so a lot of what we've been doing lately, I mean, if you've been following my content, you've been seeing a lot more faith-based posts and posts about, you know, my relationship with God and it's it's the lighthouse but when we put those posts out there and people respond i'm able to actually go and talk to those people one-on-one -on -one. i'm very transactional um i'm very goal-oriented i'm very competitive so you know when i when i look at you know my faith i look at you know how many people could i lead to christ this month and next month could i lead 10 more and being able to really have some awesome, deep conversations with people about faith um, and maybe lack of faith and how to strengthen your faith has strengthened mine, um, which is really, it's, a, it's been a very cool experience to kind of see everything come full circle of, you know, building this brand on social media for almost three years now with never really truly knowing what the end result would be. Um, but for me to see, you know, some of these conversations where, I mean, over the last two months, I've been able to lead 16 people to Christ through DM on Instagram. You know, if you feel lost, if you feel hopeless, if you've been running from God, maybe your entire life, or maybe you had a relationship with God, but you've been running from him for years. I want you to just comment below and say me, or I want you to send me a DM that says me.